Hi, I'm GT Bynum, and I get to have my dream job of being mayor of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tulsa is my hometown, and I've wanted to be mayor since I was about eight years old of this city. Contrary to what I might look, that was actually a long time ago. Uh, I think that being mayor of your hometown is the best job in elected office. There are a lot of jobs that people think are higher up on the political ladder, but when it comes down to it, being mayor of your hometown gives you every day a chance to make a positive impact in the lives of people that you love. And I love the people here in Tulsa. All the things, all the ingredients that it takes to make your city truly unique and special, they're already there. You don't have to go and bring them in and copy what other cities do. And a great example of that here in Tulsa is Route 66. Route 66 was actually invented by a Tulsa, a man named Cyrus Avery. He was a county commissioner here in Tulsa, and then he had the good fortune to network with other leaders around the nation to create the mother road, Route 66, but it originated with his idea, connecting Chicago all the way out to the West Coast. We just opened up here in the last five years, the greatest park gift to any city in American history. It's known as the Gathering Place. And the importance of the Gathering Place is not to have a trophy park for Tulsa. The importance of the Gathering Place and the reason that it was established here was that we as a city, we value community. And for us, whether it's Route 66 or it's the Gathering Place, all we want is for people to have great experiences together as Tulsans here in our community. And we're trying to do that through focusing on those things that are really unique to our community. Tulsa is home to the greatest collection of American art and history that isn't owned by the federal government, key asterisk there, uh, at the Gilcrease Museum. It has everything from Native American art and artifacts to Benjamin Franklin's copy of the Declaration of Independence that he used when he was our ambassador to France during the Revolutionary War to prove to European governments that we had actually declared independence from Great Britain, and now Bob Dylan's archive. We as a city, we are investing in that museum by building a new facility that is worthy of that great collection and that facility is going to be under construction here over the next two years. We're doing all of that right now in Tulsa as a community that believes in itself and wants to leave a better city for the next generation. Thank you.